All right, guys, how you doing? It's Rabia. I hope you're all good. So back in January at the NAM show, I had the pleasure of hanging out with the guys from Horizon Devices. I'm sure you know who they are, because if you're watching this video, you probably do. But in case you didn't, Misha Mansour, of course, from Periphery, um, set up Horizon Devices with a few other people, and they've been making some really cool pedals tailor-made for progressive metal and progressive rock and generally everybody, but really it's aimed kind of at progressive metal and progressive rock guitar players. Um, so things like the Precision Drive and the Nano Attack, these are things designed to tighten up and get that sort of modern metal chugging sound. However, in progressive metal and rock as well, there's a lot of ambient, beautiful tones uh, that I personally love to do a lot. Anyway, back to the point, Horizon Devices were very excited to announce the Flux Echo, which is their very first kind of, um, well, it's an echo, delay, and reverb in one, and it's definitely tailor-made to the kind of guitar player that likes progressive metal, progressive kind of ambient, clean, chiming guitar tones. Basically, you've got bypass switch, you've got a tap tempo, and a sort of uh, infinite freeze function if you hold this down, so you can create really cool kind of ambient pads whatever the settings that you're on next up we've got our mix here so at 12 o'clock it's sort of equal parts dry and wet mix and then if you crank it all the way up you're just getting pure wetness uh, to the right of that we've got tone which is really cool I really like having a tone control on my delay and reverbs because I prefer to be able to take a little bit top end out so it's nice that that's there then we've got our reverb decay on the left here so in the kind of progressive ambient world, especially the kind of world I like to sit in, I love long decay. So it's nice that we've got that. I expect there to be quite a lot of decay available on this pedal. And then we also have the feedback of the delay. So, you know, because it's the delay and a reverb, it's nice to have control over some element of, you know, the, the, the effect more than just being able to blend each one in. So that's cool. But the magic really happens in the three-way toggle switch in the middle because you have three different kind of flux modes. So I got a little leaflet that comes with the pedal that I can tell you exactly what each flux mode setting does. So in the middle position, it's like an ambient reverb with an analog kind of delay. So probably more of a traditional kind of sound um, but yeah basically nice and warm and vibey in the up position it's a slightly modulated reverb with a smooth reverse delay which is really cool I love the way that sounds so we'll get onto that shortly and then in the down position it's a shimmer reverb with a tape echo so you've basically got three different combinations really tasteful combinations of reverb and delay and I think that's really cool not to mention this pedal is also stereo and you'd be glad to know that I've rigged this up into an absolutely insane rig that before shooting this video I was gobsmacked with how nice it sounded and I was really happy with it. So I'm excited to get into the tones in this video. So the rig that I'm running in stereo is the Victory VX100 Super Kraken, which sounds great. But then I'm also teaming it up in stereo with the Soldano SLO100. So you're gonna hear these amps hard pan left and right with the Flux Echo running through both effects loops. It does sound glorious, so I'm excited to get stuck in. Guitar I'm gonna start with is my ML3 beer Carfus Burst with the bare knuckle silo pickup in it. Let's crack on with some tones. All right, let's crack on with some tones. You're hearing both the Soldano and the VX100 on a crunch, because that's the kind of sound that I like to get, is like an ambient push clean thing. Um, and I figured what I'll do is demonstrate how each of the different flux modes sounds in the pedal before we just have loads of different tones. So starting off with, this is the sound of the guitar, straight in. So it sounds lush. So we'll start with the flux mode in the up position. And this is gonna be our like lightly modulated reverse uh, delay kind of vibe. Uh, at the minute, the blend is all the way out, tones at halfway, and then the feedback and the decay are both at halfway as well. Here we go. Well, immediately, I just turned into music, which for me is always a good sign, especially when it comes to my reverb and delays. I'm very picky, um, but that has to be said that the kind of progressive metal kind of 
prog ambient delay thing, I'm all about it, so I knew I was going to like this pedal. So that's the flux mode in top position. I think that's a really great combination of effects. Right, let's move into the middle. This is the more traditional kind of analog kind of vibe. So let's have a listen, see what that sounds like. So interestingly here, the delay, I think, stays with that kind of uh, degraded analog sound. A little bit high end comes off it, but really you can hear it mainly with the reverb. So let's try that. So I'm loving the way this one sounds. It's got that traditional vibe, but again, there's a modern twist on it, of course, but it sounds fantastic. And I really, just to reiterate, the tone control, super handy, super handy. So that's the second flux mode, that kind of analog uh, vibe. Now we're going to go into the shimmer and tape echo mode. So let's check it out. The cool thing about the feedback in a tape echo mode is that it gets that harmonic distortion kind of thing going. So hopefully it'll do that with this.
So that was the bottom flux mode, and that's the kind of tape echo slash shimmer, and yeah, sounds great. Uh, all the modes sound really good. I love how tasteful the combinations of reverb and delay have been across all modes. Um, it's a great pedal. I'm getting getting lost in it, so yeah, loving it. Okay, I'm going to show you the freeze mode, but I'm going to have to put my foot up on the little pedal platform here. So I'm just going to lean back, play a chord, and show you how the freeze mode works.
that about does it for this video on the Horizon Devices Flux Echo. It is definitely a box of inspiration, there is no doubt about that. Absolutely loved messing around with this pedal. Love the fact it's stereo, love the way it looks, love the small form factor, love the fact that it does reverb and delay in one box. Fantastic, sounded really good, really inspiring. So, you know, if you're in the market for a bit of an all-in-one, something that, you know, you don't want to be tinkering around for ages, you just want a nice pad of ambient kind of echo and delay and reverb and all that kind of stuff. If you want something simple and easy to use, then yeah, you might want to check out the Flux Echo from Horizon Devices. I'm impressed and yeah, definitely gets the Rabia seal of approval in terms of ambient guitar tones. So yeah, hats off to those guys. As always, thank you to Horizon Devices for sending gear over for me to try. Thank you all for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section below and I will link the products in the description box. But as always, like, subscribe and share. I've been Rabia and I'll see you all very soon.